Hey guys, this is Lamont and Tony here at Big Dogs Performance, Big Dogs Porting, and we have a treat for you guys today. Um, we have a comparison between uh, Edelbrock, a 351 Edelbrock RPM air gap, and a manifold that we sell in-house that's you know, made overseas, and we want to compare the two for the stock to stock flow numbers. So, you know, we just want to let you guys see what we do in house, off camera most of the time. Now, this one, this is a Edelbrock Manifold 351, brand new. Brand new from the factory. The caster number is 7581. Okay. This one, this is a used manifold, but it's the same brand, air gap. The casting, 7581. And this one here is our brand new in-house manifold that we use. And we just want to make a little comparison stop to stop to see what you guys think of. Now. As you see, the two Edelbrocks are the air gap version. They have the runners that's separate from the base, but the overseas, it doesn't. So what we're gonna do, like Lamar just said, we're going to flow these and we're just gonna show you guys if there's any flow difference from the brand new Edelbrock to this Edelbrock, which has been sandblasted and cleaned. So they're both clean on the inside to see if there's any production differences because they were produced at different times. And then we're going to compare the offshore. Which is not an air gap. Which is not an air gap. And it's not ported. None of these have been ported. So we're going to go ahead, pause and see what we have. Okay, first up we have the used air gap manifold 351. First on the bench to flow. Now we have the brand new 351 Edelbrock RPM air gap. Let's see what it does. going to see what else we have. Now we have the in-house Big Dogs 351 non-air gap manifold. So we're going to get this to flow. Everything is, and this is still completely stock, not ported at all. So here we go. Hey, Lamont. Yeah. We didn't do that at 28 inches. You didn't? I don't think so. Okay. Just like I'll try it again. <laughs> so, 
did the same thing, even though he changed the pressure. <laughs> so, this video is an eye opener because on the forums and internet, you have a lot of guys, as soon as you talk about overseas and offshore parts, they instantly say those parts are garbage, they're cheap, they're this, they're that. And a lot of those individuals haven't ran, tested, or even experienced the parts that they're talking about. Now granted, you have issues with some parts that comes from overseas and you also have issues with parts that are manufactured here in the United States. No company is perfect. No company is perfect. And these are, if you think about it, aftermarket performance parts. So they may not fit exactly like stock or factory. They may not look like stock or factory. But one of the things that we do, we like to test. We like to test them. And as you see, the same exact runner, this runner right here, the so-called offshore cheap Chinese junk outflow the so-called made in America pedal bra. Now everybody have their own preference. You know, some people prefer to say, hey, I want everything made in the good old USA. But if that's the case, then look at everything in your house. Look at the phone that you use. Look at the televisions that you watch. Are all of those items made in the USA? No. So if you are one of the ones that want everything made in the USA, although I would agree with you, that would be the preference, that's just not a reality. You know, it's not a reality. So, doing a comparison, you just saw the flow numbers and the offshore manifold, which is not even a air gap, float more in stock form. So we're going to go ahead, set these back up and do a video recap. So we have the flow results for the manifolds. And now we're going to talk about the cost. Now, mind you, these are all out the box, right? Yes. So, this is how they come when you buy them. So, the brand new, the brand new Edelbrock, currently, that's retailing for what, Lamar? Around... $470. So $470. As of this video. As of this video. And it's an air gap. So for guys that. So your phone. Okay. So for guys that. Um, like the air gap. Like the look. Like the style. You can get this out the box for 470 the used one right here, that one, you probably can find those you know, on eBay or Marketplace. You probably can find those in good condition for about $400. And this offshore, well, of course, if you're smart, <laughs> you definitely wouldn't buy that 
and put it on out the box, especially when you can get it for a great price, stage two ported. But even though out the box, as you saw, it flowed more than both of the Edel box, which are the same ones, one's just used, one's just new. So I hope this video enlightens a lot of individual to stop necessarily down in parts before you see the actual results of what the parts can do. You know, you don't want to say this part is superior than this part or vice versa because we can tell you, we can tell you that the fit and finish on all three of these manifolds is pretty good. It's pretty good. These manifolds have been CNC machined, all three of them. Okay? The casting is nice. The quality is decent. And based off of our experience, we didn't have any fitment issues. Nothing major. Um, when any manifold comes through our shop, we automatically chase the threads. We check for flatness for the gaskets. And of course, we give them that killer ass port job, either stage two or stage three. So we're not bashing, you know, the overseas offshore manifolds because we sell those in stage two ported versions. We're not bashing the Edelbrock RPM air gap because we also sell those in stage two ported versions. We're just doing this video to show individuals that don't judge a book by its cover or its place of origin. Okay? So, anything Lamont? No, not really. We're not bashing Edelbrock. They make great products. Yes, great and products. No, we're just trying to show, you know, don't judge a book by its cup. Right. Different options, you know. I mean, everybody, you know, may not be on the same budget. And our goal is to make you guys go fast on a budget. Even if you have the money to spend on super expensive parts, we port them and modify the less expensive parts to perform as good and better. So why would you spend the extra money when you don't have to? You could put that money into traction, into tires, into suspension. You know, because when you put our parts on, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, plain and simple, it's going to be an issue. So, you guys like this video, please like, comment if you want. Don't troll us because we will delete or block you. You know, we're not having that anymore. Um, you know, and share it. That way... In the Ford community, you guys can share this information and hope you guys can learn from it, get better, go faster, make better decisions, save money. Because I'm going to tell you, and Lamont told me not to say this, but you know me, I'm the, I'm the bad guy of the, of the business. <laughs> Ford, small block Ford guys. Okay, we, we post a lot of videos and show a lot of content for the small block four guys. But we do just as much work for the LS and Kayo crowd. We just don't port, we just don't publish as much content. We're gonna start changing that, but the reason why we try to help 
the focus on the small block four crowd is because the LS and the Coyote kicking you guys' asses. And for a long time, you guys have been misled for decades. Okay? You guys have been told you need to put this brand Sunday head on, this brand intake, this mass airflow, and do these things. And you guys haven't evolved with the times. You know, you got guys still thinking that I can go out and get me a B cam or E cam, you know, or the same old custom cam and I'm going to be able to compete with the LS crowd, the Kayo crowd, because I'm lighter. No, no. We port Kayo and LS cylinder heads, intake manifolds, and throttle bodies just as much as a small block four crowd. And we know the numbers, okay? We see the difference. This is one of the reasons why whenever you contact our Google page or our Facebook business page, we are trying to help you with your combo. We are giving you recommendations that we know works that'll save you money. Because the LS crowd and the Coyote crowd, even the Mopar crowd, they don't have a problem listening. <laughs> they don't have a problem listening. And those guys, you know, they're hunting. They're hunting. You know, and if it wasn't for turbos and and boat on superchargers, you know, the 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 Ford crowd would be in some serious trouble. Small block Ford crowd. So we're trying to get you guys to save money, but yet make the kind of power and produce the kind of performance that will keep you competitive. Okay? Keep you competitive. So once again, this is Lamont Tony over here and Big Dogs Porting Big Dogs Performance. See you guys at the track.